Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back to another video. And this is when we talk about the trade that sent Frankie Montas and Lou Trevino from the Oakland A's to the New York Yankees in exchange for four top prospects, all of which are within the Yankees' top 21 prospects. Before we get started, as always, hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, make sure to comment down below what you guys think about this trade. Did the A's win? Did the Yankees win? I'm looking forward to having a conversation with you guys down in the comment section below. All right, blockbuster trade. One of the handful of blockbusters that have actually gone down so far. Frankie Montas in 2022 was pitched to a 4-9 record. Of course, the A's, they're trading everyone. They're tanking. Is a 3-1-8 ERA in 19 games, 104 and two-thirds innings pitch, 109 strikeouts with a 1.137 whip. So what we're looking at here, a few more strikeouts uh, that per innings pitch. Frankie Montas will go out there. It will K a lot of people. 1.137 whip. That is a very, very respectable whip. He is good against top teams. He's good against bottom teams. You have to figure that the uh, A's asking price and the return that they got would have been a little bit more if it hadn't been for that shoulder issue. Again, he throws 99, 100 miles an hour. He's a fireballing right-handed pitcher. And the Yankees got their man. They needed another starting pitcher, and they go out and get Frankie Montas. Also coming with this trade is Lou Trevino. Now, this year in uh, 39 games, 32 innings pitched, does have 45 strikeouts, still striking out a lot of people. But you look at that whip, 1.875 and ERA at a 6.47. Not doing anything near what he did last year. Again, last year and in 2020, ERA is in the mid threes. Uh, we look at 2021 uh, uh, as an example, 3.18 ERA in... Sorry, after rudely getting interrupted by uh, Amazon and my Echo... Um, and Frank, uh, Lou Trevino, where were we? 318 ERA and 73 and two thirds innings pitched. Uh, you know, very, very, very respectable. Look at 1.249 whip again. Lou Trevino, uh, 2021 was his year and he has regressed massively. You know, you look at, you look at his numbers, the strikeouts are up, the walks are down. But the hits are way up. The home runs are almost an entire home run per nine up from last year. And his hits per nine up five. Over five hits per nine innings. So you look at Lou Trevino, what the Yankees are going to have to do is, in that band box Yankee Stadium, get his hits under control. Again, as well as Frankie Montas, he's just got to keep going. The Yankees got their man. They needed another starting pitcher, and they went out and got him. Return going to Oakland. We have left-handed pitcher Ken Wadischuk. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce that last name. You got right-handed pitcher Luis Medina. You got left-handed pitcher J.P. Sears and second baseman Cooper Bowman. Uh, Ken, the left-handed pitcher, I'm not saying his last name, is the fifth prospect, Luis Medina, number 10. Uh, J.P. Sears, 17, and Cooper Bowman, 21. The best pro prospect, Ken, left-handed pitcher, number five in the Yankees organization, is 24 years old. Uh, 6'4", 220 pounds, and his scouting grade, 65 fastball, 50 uh, curveball, 55 slider, 55 changeup, uh, control of 50, and an overall of 55. And, I mean, in his stats, uh, career in the minors, he's a 3 ERA in uh, this year with two teams, which would be uh, AA and AAA. He's pitched to a 271 ERA and 76 in the third innings pitch. Very, very dominant, big lefty. I think the A's, they, they got something with Ken. And, you know, the A's, they got some promising pieces coming together. Henry Bolte, I played against him. He's, you know, drafted in the second round by the A's. He's going to be solid. Uh, Luis Medina, go over this. His career in the minors, 4-4-6 ERA. But, again, inflated by 27-2018. Uh, in 2021, in the minors, 106 innings pitch, 3.39 ERA. Again, really solid, 75 fastball, 60 curveball, 55 change, 40 control, overall 50. Uh, we'll go down to J.P. Sears, the number 20th ranked prospect. I think uh, Bob Nightingale got that wrong because he's not number 17. Uh, J.P. Sears, 5'11", 180 left-hander, 55 uh, fastball, 55 slider, 50 change, 55 control, overall 40. I don't know how, the, how those numbers add up. This year in the Yankees, 3-0. In uh, seven games, two starts, 22 innings pitched with a 2.05 ERA. So again, he has pitched in the majors this year and has been very solid for the Yankees. And then finally, Cooper Bowman, 21 ranked prospect. 
He this year, uh, six foot, 205, 45 hit, 45 power, 65 run, 50 arm, 50 overall uh, field, and 40 overall. Uh, this year in, or yeah, this year in high A, he's hitting 217. Last year within uh, rookie ball and uh, low A, he hit 255. So again, very unproven second baseman. Kind of a, uh, you know, average size for a second baseman, six foot. Drafted fourth round uh, in 2021 by the Yankees. So overall, the A's, they are getting a solid haul. Again, this is nothing compared to what we saw for Luis Castillo. But again, still a very solid haul. You're getting four pitchers that I view that JP Series, he's going to be solid. I think Ken's going to be solid. Luis Medina, fireballer. The A's got some pieces here. And for Frankie Montas, who we knew they weren't going to hang on to, you know they're going to trade. They, the A's and what they've been able to net in return for all their pitchers, uh, Chris Bassett, Sean Manaya, now uh, Frankie Montas, they got Matt Olson, uh, Matt Chapman. The A's, they've been able to accumulate a handful of prospects recently. And now you just kind of got to continue on the rebuild, keep pushing for that new stadium. Bring in people and players that are going to, you know, potentially have value that you can trade away at the deadline. Next year, the A's rebuild mode. The Yankees clearly, clearly are win now. Um, I saw a thing on Twitter. The Yankees have traded 31 prospects since the start of the 2021 season. And it's a World Series or bust for them. We know this. Best team in baseball right now, New York Yankees. As a Mets fan, I don't like it. But, hey, the Mets swept the Yankees two games, man. Unfortunate for you guys, but let's go Mets. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, come back later for more videos. Uh, Trey Mancini, Luis Castillo, Josh Hader, much, much more coming up. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.